my friends. Hope you're having an outstanding, fabulous day. Getting ready to go out for a ride somewhere, land. I don't know where. On an e-bike, remember, you just go somewhere, wherever. You're never lost. You're just having fun. And what am I riding? Well, this is my second ride of the day. Now I'm riding my Roxanne. So we have Roxanne all loaded up for a little trip. We got a couple of homeless bags. We got uh, junk. Uh, the only thing we're not taking is an emergency uh, bag because I'm just staying within 30 miles of my house. So I'll just call for a tow if I break down. So I'm not carrying my bag. And I'm trying a foam muff on top of the cat whiskers on my mic to see if my sound is better at full, what is like, uh, I could do 43 miles an hour, but I'm pedaling my butt off uh, at high speed. So really 35, 35 to 40 miles an hour, uh, how the sound is on this bike. So it's a glorious day in Maryland. It is warm though. It's in the high 80s, got some wind. It would be a good day to float. Uh, and I might do that again later, I don't know. But for right now, ride, mental health boost. Got my moon cool sunglasses on because it is bright. And we're gonna wear our Lumos helmet. Don't have anything from, from them, no links or nothing, but we're wearing our Lumos with our built-in blinkers. And it does have a big bright light too. I just hug the shoulder here. Yep, they're not gonna come. All right, we'll speed up. There they go. Thank you. I don't think people know how to pass in general. This will be a test how the sound is because we're going down a hill doing 36. Um, I don't think people know how to pass, whether it's a bicycle or a car, because when you pass a bicycle or you pass a car, like here's another Einstein right behind me. You give a gas. You move over away from the object you're passing and you accelerate. And if you accelerate faster than the speed limit, that's okay. You will not get a ticket for that unless you suddenly are doing 80 uh, in a 50, whatever. But um, if you went 50 in a 40 to get around a, a bicyclist or something, you would be fine. Now I had to throttle to get ahead because this person is stupid. Ah, they're gonna turn right in front of the car. Today has been a day of horrible drivers. Horrible drivers. All right, back on Main Street. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit busy because it's football season and it is football times so there's people I know in the bars uh, besides outside eating I know there's people inside watching football eating and drinking oh I was already committed uh, to moving because they just popped out which leads me to when I used to practice law uh, the darting child syndrome, which is just reinforced about not speeding in your neighborhood because um, a child or a young person comes right out between a car, you'll never see them because of their size, uh, and then boom. So that's why you never ever speed in neighborhoods. And you just have to be careful when you speed anyway. Look, I'm invisible to that car. At least he does have a blinker, dumb butt. Um, the, um, 
There's some places you can speed, and then there's some places you should not speed. Main Street, you shouldn't speed. Neighborhoods, you shouldn't speed. Bad road conditions, crowded road conditions, you should not speed. We're going to, uh, one day I'm gonna to go to the Legion with a designated driver and then have a few beers and watch the football game. Put our blinker on, on our helmet. That's one nice little feature. Oh, I smell marijuana. I smell some Mary Jane. Not uncommon in today's world of legalization. Not a lot of people out, because it's, besides football season, it's, it's unseasonably warm again, which is good if I wanted to go home and float and work on my tan, which I might just very well do. I don't see my friend at his secret fishing spot. I better pay attention so I don't get whack a dude. I'm surprised. Oh, there are some kayakers out there. Thought you might see a ton of kayakers out. Uh, Cause even though the water's chilly, it's warm. Look, there's a couple kayakers out there. All the, I'm as 20 years that I've lived here. I've never gone out on the water here at all. No kayaking, no. I got a nice raft. No, nothing. Although that raft's been packaged up for 15 years, might need uh, might need some help. Do a zippity do around them. Oh man, the the VFW is packed. Football season. Honestly, that's a bad habit. My bad habit is in my pool, having a beer or two. Going to the VFW or the Legion on a regular basis. Uh, holy cow, boy, they're packed today. I haven't seen it packed like this in a long time, probably since last football season. Now, 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 with this bike, I pedal 99% of the time. Uh, even when I'm using the throttle, I'll still pedal 99% of the time. So this bike here gives me, gives me some exercise. And I gotta get over to the bike lane gives me exercise and just moving my joints which is good for arthritis six miles six miles thank you thank you I have not seen any homeless people, not even out in the corners. I don't know why. Whoa, shit, she almost got us. How could you miss this big yellow bird that I am? Stupid. I'm glad I looked up. I was looking down at my stupid display. That's what I wanted to talk about before. I talked about it in one of my other videos and I made some posts uh, defending my friend Michael Caine about uh, stupid people uh, and about a uh, Facebook post by a bike seller regarding his 50 mile an hour bike being, uh, I don't remember what he said, uh, class two compliance and legal in all 50 states or whatever. And you know, it was a half truth and my friend Michael Caine called him out. And so I have subsequently done, I made a post and I said, hey, uh, you know, 750 watt pedals, that's what an e-bike is. And that is what the 
federal law is. And then I did some more research and almost every state is the same way, but states can deviate from that. And there are a couple states that have two horsepower as the two, two horsepower. Here we go. Fucking dumb. I'm gonna have to do a lot of bleeping. Two horsepower. Oh my gosh. Two horsepower uh, and pedals. Well, two horsepower is, is 1,500 watts. So there are a couple states like that, Rhode Island being one of them from my just cursory research. But I also said in another one, when you don't do what the federal government wants, they say they're not gonna give you monies and withhold funds. And so most states are 750 watts and then anything higher than that, it's either, it's a gray area or they have a classification for it. And so the bike that I'm riding right now, in a couple states, it would be, we're, we're turning in here so I can just finish my thought at the state police barracks. In a couple states, this bike is an e-bike, pedals uh, and the motors, but in, in most states, it is not an e-bike. And are the police coming, gonna come out and run out of this barracks and get me? No, why? They don't care. They just don't want you driving like a nut. If you were driving like a nut in a regular bike on this road out here, uh, they would probably stop you if you were going to cause an accident or whatever. And so what is my point? My point is that buy what you want, be prepared for whatever consequences, if any, you face, and don't believe every ad you see on Facebook or anywhere else that is so absolute. And if it sounds too good, because to, you all know that a 50 mile an hour bicycle is not going to be legal. Uh, many places, if any, as a regular e-bike. Come on now, 50 miles an hour? What the heck? Uh, so don't fall for the hype. Don't let the salesman get you. Now, is the bike good? Uh, I don't know, my friends like their bikes and I've seen a lot of great reviews about the, the brand and the bikes, uh, but that's not the point. The point is the, the ad with the influencer eye candy was a half truth. And I tell you, if I ever do that, I want you all to call me out. If I make mistakes, I want you to say, hey, Bruce, that's not right. Uh, if I, if, if you think that I am misleading you about something, I want you to call me out because I would never mislead or lie or try to get someone to buy something by not telling the truth about all the facts or whatever. That's why I make so many videos about products and put so many miles on them and, and constantly talk about them. So anyway, that's my little rant about the e-bikes and the ads. And just remember, in general, if that bike is more than 750 watts and it doesn't have pedals, it's not an e-bike. Back down through town we go. We're gonna go down through town and up Route 7 because that's safer than Route 40, especially with Roxy, because Roxy, Roxy is 30, 33 mile an hour, not even breathing hard, even 35. But, Betty, <laughs> that's Betty 40 and 42. So, like we're doing 30 down the hill. She, she's, she is a 30, 32 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour straight away all day long. But that road, Route 40 is 55 plus speeding in there. So, uh, much more, what much suited much more for Betty. Now, if this bike was smaller and more nimble, I could thread that needle. 
I can't thread that needle with this bike, not without risking hitting something, making a boo-boo. Mirrors add some width, probably about uh, eight or nine inches of width. Listen, listen. No throttle pedaling up this hill underneath that big dark cloud. Yes, my first true love. I still love her. I did fall in love with Betty Moore. Betty stole my heart from Roxy, but now Roxy's happy. She's back. She's my queen again. My D's actually probably like Roxy because uh, they get more movement, which is good for arthritis. I will tell you this, it is rare. It is rare that I get a dirty look on this bike. Every now and then, but that person is a hater. That person is just a miserable person in life. Otherwise, this bike is a 100% okay trail bike. Part of the reason why people stare at me, my friend's like, I was like, why do people freaking stare at me? Uh, and he said, uh, besides being ugly, he's like, you're freaking big. He's like, so when they see you, even when I'm just not on a bike, he's like, people stare at you because you're freaking big bigger than average and I was like really because I don't think uh, I'm not nearly as big as I, I, I used to be and I'm not even talking about when I was fat I'm talking about when I was strong I was a lot freaking bigger and I don't remember people I think maybe he's right I think maybe uh, I've gotten uh, uglier with age All right, this is gonna be a test of my sound because we are doing 30 plus miles an hour and we're gonna go down a hill, pick up even more. And we're gonna test the wind and me talking. So this is the hill test, sound test. We're doing 37, 38. Let me let off the throttle. We don't need to go faster. All right, we're pedaling it. That's one thing I love about this bike too. When I put the bigger chain ring on, I can pedal uh, 40 plus miles an hour. All right, this is gonna be a good test. Yeah, I can pedal 43 miles an hour. Still got feel in, in the pedals. Um, I tell you, uh, Lampro, the new bike is better than this one. This was a great, this, this is a great bike. And this was one of the best sub $3,000 bikes in 2023. Much better, much better than wired. Thank you. There's somebody who knows how to pass. Yeah, and the new model, the Road Warrior Ultimate, that's the one that I would buy. And I'm actually thinking about buying that one or it's got a step through coming through. It's got a step through coming out. All wheel drive. Um, I hope it has a rear suspension. He does the most simplest upgrades that other companies could do, but they're stupid and they don't. And the biggest one is like e cells charges an extra, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, I still kind of have a good memory for some things. e cells charges $95 extra for a torque sensor. That's crazy. That bike should have a torque sensor from the jump. The other thing is they all have freaking Shimano Torni gears. And in that price range, and for those bikes, man, they should have at least eight-speed Altus. 
and the new fabulous Acera, which is a step above that. And, and I guarantee you, it is not that much more money to do that. And that's kind of where, in my mind, people who are discerning buyers and who have, I don't want to say smarts, but are comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, will realize that his bikes are, um, that is a good feature in his bikes. Uh, that the other ones just don't do because they're trying to save a penny. Up to sailboat regatta. Got a bunch out there and you got a ton of them moored. Must be something sailboatyish happening. Look at that. Sailboat regatta. Or flotilla. Maybe that's the proper. Maybe that's what it is. It's a flotilla. Maybe a regatta is a bunch of boats moving and a flotilla is a bunch of boats floating. I don't know. I'm not a sailor. I'm not a mariner. There's something about being away from land that I can't get over. Nice. Got some fishermen, young fishermen out there. It's cool. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah. Did you just subscribe? No, I've, I've seen you going around before. H have you subscribed? Yes, I have. Thank you. Yep. I just broke... Uh... Oh, that doesn't sound good. What is that rattling? Is that a... Oh, that's my bells. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just broke a 1,000 subs the other day, and I got like uh, 1,700 and some now. Yeah. So thank you. Yep. You too. Now, are you guys catching any fish? I was right over here. A couple and fancy I, ones. I the cast it straight out. I had a massive catfish. Yeah. Snap right off. Ah. I bet you don't have made them. Uh, do you, I just cast it out. Do you ever catch any snakeheads? Snakeheads down there. Yeah, snakeheads are down there. Now. They don't really come up here. They're mainly down by the marina. Really? Mm -hmm. At least that's what I've heard. Uh, I saw someone pulling in over there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to catch one. Getting the hook out of their mouth is not some fun. Uh, some people that I talked to who have caught them said that they taste good. Uh, I've heard some people say they taste like chicken. I've heard some people say they taste like tuna. Yeah. So. Catfish just taste like cat. All right. We off. That's... That was, that was very nice that, uh, hi there, that those young people live in town and see me riding around and have subscribed to my channel. That's real freaking cool. And most of my uh, subscribers are 50 and older. And then my next batch is uh, in the 40s. And uh, my smallest batch is 18 to 24. And I just started looking at analytics once uh, I, my subs exploded. Like, what the heck was going on? And um, my uh, 90, 90, about 95% are men and 5% are women. Look at the bar. The bar is just, the bar is just happening today. We have gone 12 miles on this glorious Sunday afternoon. 12 glorious, 12 glorious miles. Somebody who knows me, that's nice. Holy cow, they're building a freaking bridge. 
I don't even know how they got a permit for that. Whoa, look at that. Boy, I'm surprised they were able to do that. Can you see it? We were just here last week. That was not happening. They're built, they've got pylons in, connecting the campground to another piece of property he owns. He also built that pier a couple years ago, uh, which, I mean, you're not, you're talking some money there. This just reiterates why you get an e-bike to get out and live life. So you can see stuff. So you can go where you normally wouldn't go. So you can go where the man doesn't want you to go like that. Uh, so you can come down here and see, boy, that's gotta be right on the edge of town property. So you can see that uh, they're building I actually think that they're building above and be building up and down. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This used to be a marina years ago. Uh, this whole basin here was a marina. And then over the years, you know, uh, it filled in with silt. And uh, now it's way too shallow. And to dredge this out to build a marina would be mm, a couple million dollars just to dredge this out. Because you got to get rid of the spoils besides doing the digging. The spoils are the, the diggings, the, the, the mud and the dirt and the silt. They're spoils. Uh, they just can't be dumped anywhere. So you have to have a spoil site and uh, the permits and everything. You're probably talking a couple million dollars. Be off. All wheel drive, baby. All wheel drive, baby. Bump, 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 bump. No issues for my Roxy. All wheel drive, baby. Oh, yeah. Billy goat, Billy goat, Billy goat. Beautiful. Incredible. 13.9 miles to nothing but just having fun riding around. Talking to people, saying hi. Uh, just mental health food and physical health food, especially with this bike and torque sensor. Although I would argue, and I could argue, even with a cadence sensor, you're moving your joints. So if you have bad knees, arthritis, uh, just holding on to the bike is also helping your grip strength and your uh, your overall core, your center mass, your core, and um, and then the mental health boost is just, if not arguably, more better, beneficial um, with an e-bike, getting out, getting out and doing stuff. That's my favorite little jaunt in town is just around the field here. Yeah, just just the mental health boost and the um, and the physical health boost is just they've done studies on it. So I was going to say immeasurable, but it's not immeasurable. They've done studies to demonstrate that uh, it's health food for you. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, mental health food, super health food. One hundred percent. Just that little. Four, we've done fourteen point three miles now, and we're not done yet. Why? Because we don't have to be. Well, where are you going? Nowhere and everywhere. And that's what's incredible about an e-bike. Nowhere, everywhere, you're never even lost. Nowhere, everywhere, 
You're never, you're never even lost. And we are back, 18 points. Let's see what it is when we get around the court. 18 point, five miles. We already did 25 or so this morning. What a nice bunch of super health, mental health food. 18.5 miles on my fabulous road warrior all-wheel drive. 60 volt monster. Torque monster. Nimble. Nimble. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. 18.6 miles. I hope you enjoyed that ride to nowhere, to everywhere, to wherever where, to who you can't get lost where, on my fabulous bike with my ET. Comfortable blue wind seat, Safort, suspension seat posts. Thank you all for humoring me. Thank you all, look at that beautiful flag. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Thank you all for humoring me. Thank you all for being my friends. Thank you all for being my subscribers. And if you've come across this channel and you're not a subscriber, you just, I, boo, I'm asking you to smash that subscribe. Click on the, click on the bell. When I looked at my analytics, 78% of people who have viewed my, uh, watch my videos, who have viewed them, are not subscribers. It's free. I don't charge you anything. I'm not a, whatever they call it, Patreon or, or whatever. I don't charge you anything. Please subscribe. It's free. It's free. It's free. And if you see a video and you hate, don't unsubscribe. That cuts me to the bone. Yes, I'm sensitive. But... If you're not a subscriber, it's free. Please subscribe, smash it, click on it, like it, S check on the bell. Even if you don't check on the bell, subscribe. All right, my friends, until the next ride, which will no longer be on Betty, it's going to be on Roxy until Stella comes in or Mary, my ox, once I repair her or Trixie or Luann, my trikes. I love you all. See ya.